as it happens with, uh, with many of us uh, today in academia, we work with um, uh, interdisciplinary areas. So I don't have one specific area of interest, but rather the connection or the convergence of few different areas. And those will be communication, political science, uh, and sociology. Um, so in the intersection of these main areas of inquiry is where my research lies on. Well, the, the application of, of, my, of my research is, is, is vast, if you think about it. Um, it ranges, since, since my work is so interdisciplinary, it ranges from uh, applications to the field of journalism and journalists, norms about journalism, uh, how it does influence the audience, how it does influence uh, um, citizens as for how they learn about the news and what use they make about that information uh, when it comes to participate in democracy. Um, also for uh, uh, politicians and, and political figures, um, they can also draw conclusions on my research area and establish better policies, uh, not only when it comes to issues revolving uh, polit politics itself, but also when it comes to uh, media and communication and in the area of uh, connecting with the constituents and the people uh, to improve society as a whole. Um, primarily, I came here to work in the Department of Journalism and um, our main project uh, deals with a vast amount of information, what today is called uh, trace uh, data or um, more commonly also known as big data. And the idea is to uh, learn more about how journalism and this vast and large amount of data can be used to propose new ways of storytelling and inform the, the main public uh, and citizens. So we're working in that area, we're gauging large amounts of data and we're trying to understand better how to produce information that is uh, uh, more understandable and uh, more suitable for, uh, for the audience, drawing from uh, such a vast amount of data. Um, and we have a couple of lines of inquiry here. One is that that I just elaborated. The other one is to understand much better the idea of machine learning and how automatic machines can also produce information. So we'll be able, we will be able to uh, 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 write uh, uh, a news report without involving a human being. That's something that we're also interested on, on learning more, more about. But uh, for now, we are uh, spending most of our efforts on the first part, understanding how large and vast amounts of data can be used and repackaged in such a way that it becomes really informative and also usable for the main audience.